What's going on everyone? My name is Chris. This is my wife Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and on Instagram. And Kathy has another haul for you guys. She's been on a streak of going to the bins and this was a pretty good trip, correct? Or is this? I think so. I mean, at least got a good amount of stuff. I stayed about three hours, so. Three hours? I, think oh. I got like over 15 pairs of shoes, which is cool. Very nice. That's what you like to get, the shoes. <laughs> So let's let's see what all what did you get? Pre-sort things because I this bin is stuff like I'm either keeping or already listed. So uh, these top two are just something I got for my kid. Which these are a little bit pilly, but these are like my favorite pants for them. So I was super yeah. excited to find those. I can get the pillies off a little bit. So I paid like almost thirty bucks for the last pair I bought for him because I just love them so much. So to find them at the bins for like a buck, that's awesome. We'll take the pills. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then this is just a cool Harvard. I think it's H&M sweatshirt for my son. So love finding them toes for cheap. We got our other boy here just mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to get comfy. <laughs> uh, this is a Duluth Trading Co. I'm going to try this on, but if it doesn't fit, I'll list it. It's okay. just like a camo sports bra. Um, and then this. I did try it on and I think I'm gonna keep it because I just recently sold my denim jacket and I've been needing a new one. So it's Talbots. Talbots. If I did list it, it'd be like probably $20 to $30. Okay. I'm gonna keep that. And then yeah, this rest of this stuff I did already list. I like picking up bras at the bins. They just weigh hardly anything. Yeah. I don't really know this brand, Leading Lady. It just seemed like one of those more comfortable mm. type of bras. So I think I listed this at like 15 bucks. Nothing crazy. Uh, this I got just because it was skeletons and skeletons oh, usually yeah, does cool. well. So um, when I was Google lensing, I think it was sold at Hot Topic, but that's the brand. I didn't really pick it up based on brand. Social Collision. Yeah, <laughs> but I think that should sell around $20. I listed at 20 so probably okay. 15 to 20 on that. I feel like it's a good spooky season thing. It is, yeah. Thing, it so. actually, well, when I looked up Google lens, it said skeleton with heart eyes. So it could be. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. Valentine's Almost like Day, broken heart eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just funny to think of skeletons with like hearts and love. <laughs> well, uh, babe, we are, a, we're all just a bunch of skeletons. <laughs> now, this is a nice Zara fleece, like nice Sherpa with the hood pocket. Uh, I think I listed this around 40. So it was a nice one. Perfect for this time of year. Yeah. Um, I don't know this brand. I just thought it was a nice style. I mean, it's skinny, but I liked the cuffs. It's like a little tie dye. Oh, down here. Um, but yeah, the brand good. is Jelly Teen, so I don't know. They felt like a nice stretchy pant, so I figured somebody would want them. I think I listed these around twenty. Okay. Um, men's Columbia fleece vest. I usually do fifteen to twenty on these. Nothing crazy. I don't usually buy them at the normal thrift, but on eBay, yeah, or at the men's. Yeah. Getting them for a couple bucks into fifteen to twenty is great. They sell all the time so yeah if i did go to play those they would definitely take that they love columbia north face patagonia yeah. type stuff so. i don't know why but that just reminded me you had those arcturic pants that had the stains and stuff mm -hmm. i did look into it there is a like a oh. trade-in program i think oh. they call it uh i can't remember what they call it but they do have one and you get like 20 percent off off if the different you, item or, or i like, think so yeah if they accept it so i don't know if they accept stain <laughs> stuff but right. it, we can look if into it like someday something that like happened due to the quality yeah like if a zipper you, breaks yeah. or buttons rip off that kind of stuff that they can kind of salvage i just don't know about the well i already photographed them and i'm actually listing those today so yeah hopefully they sell for me but yeah good to know yeah um, this is made well, just a basic top. It was a double XL, so I thought that was a good size. I think I listed this around 20. Pretty fall color. Yeah. Um, this is Target fleece. Um, it is new a tag with, I mean, Target fleece. It's still retailed at like 48 bucks, but I went to list this the other day and it, the comps were only like 10 bucks maybe. Really? Even for new a tag and this is an extra large. Yeah. Mm. So I'm thinking maybe I'll take this to Play-Dohs or something, just get a few dollars versus me listing Spend it. Like I'd time, have to yeah. roll it and stuff and bag it. So I might just put that in a Play-Dohs bin. That makes sense. And then these are Rip Curl board shorts. So nice. Usually around 20 or so out of those. So yeah, that was the stuff I've listed so far. He this still is... can't get comfortable. <laughs> He's excited because right after we're done recording, 
We're gonna be going to the other house. You gonna come with me, Reese? I'm gonna go to Starbucks and list my items. We're gonna go for a ride later. Not right now. <laughs> In a little bit. He's, he's so excited. Um, this is the stuff I'm gonna be taking to Once Upon a Child. So I already have another half a bin full. So once I add this, I'll probably take this tomorrow if I have time. Um, so yeah, just, I don't know. I, I don't know where this brand is sold. DSG. DSG. Yeah, some of the stuff that they don't take, like my kid can wear those and this. I think it's just like a Walmart brand, but he can wear that if they don't take it. Got little Carter's onesies. I mean, these cost like nothing. They don't give you a ton for onesies, but they almost always take them if they're in good shape. Mm. Cause like they sell them for like 10 for 10 or something sometimes. Oh, okay. So they might not give me much, but yeah. I feel like when I make my bin worth taking, they take more stuff. So um, Carter's, H&M, Carter's. Yeah. I don't know if you guys like seeing this stuff. I mean, considering they pretty much took everything. Yeah, last time you got a you, huge payout, so. Maybe you guys learned something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you hate seeing the Once Upon a Job <laughs> stuff. But pretty much if it's in good shape, I grab it. A I mean, lot of, look, like, the you, heavier you, stuff I don't, but this is pretty lightweight stuff. You were already there. You might make, you know, yeah. 20, 30 bucks max mm -hmm. from this pile. Yeah. So, but that's an extra 20 bucks mm -hmm. that you're there. Yeah. Uh, this is the brand Hayden Girls, which I don't know, but I found two dresses. I figured if these don't, if they don't take these, I could probably list them as a bundle mm -hmm. and at least get 20 bucks for those. Um, we got Cat and Jack, so Target brand. Um, Carter's, Carter's. Uh, this was cool. I would list this by myself. I'm going to take it there. They might or might take, not take it. If it didn't have this on the back, oh, I would list cool. it Oh, that's cool, yeah. Smithsonian. But it is the mountain, like graphic. Oh, I see. So I like selling the mountain stuff, even kids. Yeah, ones. that's pretty What's cool. That says that? I don't know. I feel like that would hurt its value. Really? Once upon a child may or may not take it. We'll see. I feel but, like it kind of adds a little bit. Smithsonian. I mean, yeah, I guess it depends. Like, I probably wouldn't buy that for our kid, but if somebody likes. Yeah, well, I would, so we can cancel each other out. <laughs> <laughs> so. That was probably like 50 bucks at the museum. <laughs> Oh, I bought this. So once upon a child, they do not take Gerber, which I saw Modern Moments on this, but Modern Moments is by Gerber, so they're probably not going to take that. Oh, so, why don't well, they take Gerber? I don't know. It's like one of the brands they just don't take. I think it's because it's so cheap, but mm. I mean, this is like Modern Moments is like organic cotton stuff, I think. I don't know. This is really cute. It's like a nice black rib onesie, but oh well. Yeah. Um, and then Carter's. I mean, they take all the Walmart stuff, which is very cheap. So, <laughs> And then this is just like a little... King's camo jacket, so. Cute. Yeah, I mean, if you count the weight on this, I mean, this is probably four, maybe five pounds. So I might have paid $10 for this. Yeah. I imagine they'll give me one to $2 per piece. That was probably at least 20 pieces. Okay. Plus all the other stuff I've already had. So yeah, the way I see it is I make 50 cents to a dollar's profit for each item I pick yeah. up, but in, in quantity. So. Yeah. So yeah, that was my child stuff. I mean, yeah, you could basically just about double whatever you spent on it, right? You spend 10 bucks, you make 20, you made a 10. Right. Um, this Chris already tried on, so he's going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it. Winter, but it was a cool find. Yeah. Um, just Northwest Territory, so not like a brand I would generally pick up, but I would pick up any sort of shackles. So. Yeah, the, the Sherpa line and then quilted. Yeah. Nice arms. Thick, so. I'll probably wear it a few times because like, I don't really wear big heavy coats. I know. Even when it's like phasing, you're just like in your t-shirt and shorts, so flip-flops. I, <laughs> I do. I shovel the driveway and flip-flop sometimes, weird. although our driveway here is a little bit bigger. <laughs> but we don't have a sidewalk, so that's, I guess it's... That actually is good, so yeah. we don't have to worry about other people yeah. slipping on our stuff. Slipping and falling. Um, I had to try these on. I kind of liked them, but I think I'm going to list them just because these sell so well. The Democracy jeans with the ab. Okay. Absolution on the stretchy. So these usually sell close to $30, um, sometimes more for like the more plus size ones. So yeah, I'm going to list those. These are American Eagle, not mom jeans. <laughs> um, curvist, cur curvist, <laughs> curvy, <laughs> highest rise jigging. So these are size 12. Yeah, 12 regular. So very destroyed, but 
those will probably be at least 20. Speaking of destroyed jeans, you showed me that there was those new oldest jeans found, right? Oh, and they yeah, already those sold. Levi's. Some Levi's they found. Were they found? Because the other ones were found really in a mine. The story, yeah. We These didn't really. Ones looked in worse condition than those, but sold they for like hundred k. Hundred k for a pair That's of jeans. Crazy. <laughs> like basically overnight. <laughs> crazy. Our kid sometimes he'll be like, "How much?" I'll be like, "I made a sale, Zach," and he'll be like, "How much?" And then he'll like guess like a ridiculous number. A bajillion I sold, dollars. I sold some jeans for like ten bucks. He'll guess like a thousand dollars. We were telling him that those a pair of pants sold for like a hundred thousand, but he probably has no clue like what that actually means. So he's, yeah. I think he said like, "That's it." <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, kids uh, are cute. Like they could um, buy a house, man. <laughs> uh, this is the brand Leith. I don't really know anything about it. I actually got this to try on. It does fit. I just don't know if I loved it. Mm -hmm. It's not a great color for me. So I'm going to list that. It's pretty, I mean, it's basic, but it's pretty. It has like the ruching on the side, which made me think it might have even been maternity, but it doesn't say maternity. So I don't think it is. I mean, sometimes mm. they just have that. I think it could work for maternity. Yeah. So it's a it's a nice material. It's soft. Um, this is Chico's Traveler's new tag. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna get. I got a few Chico's pieces plus size. So like this is a three, which I think is a three X. So I don't sell a ton of Chico's, but I think that will do pretty well. I like to see you branching out into more dresses lately. Yeah. <laughs> It used to be like, I will never sell dress. Well, because it like goes <laughs> yeah. to the floor and I hate, it looks stupid on the <laughs> photography stuff. So that's the only reason. Well, and a lot of times, well, this is new, but I don't know, dresses, there's just so much material to look over for flaws and yeah. stuff. And it's just, I don't like showing like snag. Oh, there's a tiny snag. Oh, and then like trying to explain where on the dress it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the upper, lower, yeah. right quadrant. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is just a nice toward blouse. Um, probably will sell around 20 or so. Um, oh, this is Vuori, which is cool. It has a little bit of wash wear and it's pretty basic, but it's Vuori at the bins. Yeah. Um, just some lint, but I don't know how much just like a crop tee would go for. You know, I've sold the pants for 40, 50, 60 dollars, but yeah. um, I don't imagine this is gonna go for that much, but it was a cool find. Uh, these are Old Navy. You know, I was just on roll finding a bunch of stuff. This is nothing awesome. I, I left some other old navy that were like skinny jeans. These were power slim straight, so I don't know, not skinny. I'm gonna try them out. Probably get like 15 bucks or something out of those. They're in really good shape though. Yeah. Um, this is H&M, but Harry Potter. It says 16, 18. I think that's like a kid's, like a girl's size. That's cool. Um, is that a crop? What's that? Is that a crop? Uh, I, I would say it's cropped. Cropped hoodie? Yeah. But, Hogwarts. That is cool. Yeah. That's what Connor wants to be for Halloween. Harry yeah, Potter. Yeah, I need to hurry up and order him one. Yeah. Well, we're just going to be reminded every single day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, these are Old Navy. I think they're men's. Like a 4X tall jogger. So, I mean, I imagine that's probably a hard size to find if yeah. you need it. So, that's pretty much why I grabbed those. I don't think I'll get much. Maybe 15, maybe 20 just because they're a larger size. You know, if these were like a normal, like small to large, I'd be maybe pass. 10 bucks. Yeah. 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 I probably would pass them. Uh, this I found just on the way out, like somebody had thrown it back and it's obviously very dirty, yeah, it is but dirty. it is Carhartt. Um, Chris actually has one of these and like, it's a really nice one with the inner lining and stuff. Yeah. I have a blue one. Oh, I didn't realize like the tag was cut out too. Oh. So I don't know the size, but. I mean, men's sizes are pretty easy to find by measurements, you know, like usually like a 22. Yeah. I just look at my older stuff. So anyways, I'm going to wash this and hope it comes a little cleaner. Honestly, even if it doesn't, if it's just, I clean it, but it's still stained, somebody's still going to buy this. So yeah. Um, the people love these just for work wear. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, I imagine even if it stays dirty, I could probably get 30 bucks for that, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, this is a brand, I don't know, I don't want to say I love it, because I did love it for a while and then it just wasn't doing well, but like the Gramisi or Gramici. Gramici, yeah. Gramici. Um, just like a floral or leafy button up. It did have like a small hole on the wrist somewhere, but otherwise was in good shape. I liked the fabric, it's like a double layer. Yeah. But like lightweight, so that would look really nice with some khakis. So hopefully you can pull 15 to 20 out of that. 
Got some Tora jeans. Always like Tora jeans. These are a size 20. So probably at least 20 bucks. Probably honestly like 30 bucks out of those. Gotta wash them. It's crazy to me when people just get rid of like nice jeans. Like they just donate yeah, them. Yeah, they're like not like gross. Those are really nice. Yeah. So. Um, this is, I don't usually pick up this brand, but it's Banana Republic and it's down. Mm. And I thought it was a nice color. for Puffer this. vest. Yeah. yeah. I've done well with just any brand of like a down vest. So. I watched this video recently of a guy who took an old sleeping bag and made a puffer vest out of it. Hmm. <laughs> like <funny. laughs> upcycled it. He's one of those like influencers. Yeah. He makes all kinds of weird stuff out of old stuff. <laughs> uh, this is like a vintage starter Olympic jacket. Nineteen ninety six. Yeah, I've sold a hat from this Olympics before. I never sold a jacket. It seemed to be in good shape. I didn't really notice any legitimate flaws, so we'll see how that does. It's if it was a sport team starter jacket, that'd be cooler. But yeah. I don't know. I thought it was cool. It doesn't weigh much. It's just probably under a pound. That was probably like a dollar fifty. So. Look we'll at see. that color, though. Yeah. Uh, this is the brand Miracle Suit. It's like a swimming suit, but. I don't know, I've heard people talk about it. I've never sold it. It's not new, so I did look it over pretty well. I didn't see anything weird. Um, so we'll see how that does. Miracle suit, is it like a shape, sh like a forming? I think it just like, yeah, makes it seem like sucky, your tummy's smaller sucky, than it is or it whatever, in. yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll see. I don't know much about it. Uh, these are just some basic Nike leggings. Um, I would probably take these to Play-Dohs, honestly. They're just, I feel like it's something they would take and I don't like listing black clothes. Like it, it probably looks faded like I'm showing you guys, but like in person, it doesn't really to me look faded. Yeah. It looks like a nice It is black, hard to photograph so. a, a black. I'll see about those. Um, this is Knox Rose, which is Target. I like this brand of Target and it is an extra small, so not <laughs> my favorite size to sell. It usually takes a while, but thought it was pretty, Probably, honestly, only 10 to 15. I might take that to Play-Dohs first, mm. see if they take that. I've been finding a lot of 511 Tactical at the That's bins good. lately, so. Just Those a, look more like a dress. Yeah, like a navy blue dress slack. Dress slack. So, yeah, I need to wash them, but I didn't see any holes or like significant fading. So probably 20 bucks at least out of those. Uh, these are Spiritual Gangster. Size extra small, small, like a, I think they're cropped, although, I don't know, maybe they're not. They're just small size, so it's, I feel like smaller sizes are also usually shorter. I can't tell, I'll have to measure before I list them, but yeah, they're nice black ribbed, like a, I don't know what you would call that hen. <laughs> you okay, Reese? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like fluffing up his bed. So, I thought those were nice. I'm not sure how much I'll get for them, but I think they'll do well. Some random old vintage like Christmas stuff. Um, yeah, just a tablecloth. Tablecloth. I only got it because it was new. A tag, and this is a good time of year to list it. And then these were, they said, 1985 Lillian Vernon <laughs> apron and pot holder. Oh, 85. Real. From 85. That's crazy. How that's crazy? older than me. I know. That's how old are you? 37. <laughs> so these is like 38 years old, and it like basically still new and fact, Look at that tape, all yellow and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get a ton for either of those, but I figured they were easy throw Fun little listings. Probably, yeah. So, we'll see. Um, this was Chico's size 4, so I think that's a 4X. It's like a sheer tunic, I would say. So, yeah. Probably at least 20, maybe 30 out of that. This is another Chico's 4 like Man, nice. that looks like that blue and gold dress. The, what remember that whole oh, internet wait, sensation, yes. the white and... I guess. Uh, I remember, but... <laughs> they couldn't decide yeah. if it was a blue and gold dress. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I thought this was pretty. I, I know it's white, but I didn't really see anything wrong with it. Honestly, a lot of these... There was a bunch of Chico's yellow. Yeah, like it still has the hang tag as if maybe just the price tag fell off, but I felt like a lot of this stuff looked new. So, we'll see. Um, this is not Chico's, but I thought it was so pretty, and it's also a 4X, I believe. I don't know this brand, Lily of Fermon, Fermiano, I don't know. <laughs> okay. 
So, I don't know, just a really pretty cardigan. It's hooded, like super long length. Look at it, it's really pretty. It's yeah. It's pretty, right? It's very pretty. <laughs> very nice. I really like it though. I only found Johnny Was. Johnny Was? Yeah. So, uh, it's not the first time I found Johnny Was at the bins, but last time it was such bad shape I left it. So, first time I got Johnny Was at the bins. Yeah. Uh, it's a women's medium, just like an open front water. I think this is called waterfall cardigan when it's like kind of different. Oh, yeah, I can see. Within this front. Yeah. Um, I think that's what it's called. Butterfly. Um, I just sell clothes. I don't really know much about them. <laughs> <laughs> really big embroidery, though. So, I don't know. I mean, I've sold other Johnny West pieces that were more substantial for over 100 I don't think that this is quite a $100 piece. Hopefully, like, 50 to 80 Yeah. We'll see, I didn't That'd be crazy. Poems. Yeah. Um, this is Pendleton. I don't know if it's men's or women's. It's like a full zip jacket. Sherpa. Wow. It's dry clean only though. I know you feel like it needs a wash, so I don't mm. know what to do about it. I don't want to ruin it, but I'm definitely not dry cleaning it. Um, it's not like it smells. I mean, it smells like it was in somebody's closet. Like maybe like someone smelled sprayed perfume or something around uh. it. Like not in, like in a horrible way. You know yeah. what I mean? It just smells like the person who had it before. It's so kind of it fragrant. It clearly wasn't, like, washed yet. So I don't know if I want to sell it like that, but I also don't want to wash it and ruin it. I mean, it's very... Well, how much does it cost to have something dry clean? I don't know. Probably over $10. $10? And $10? I don't know how much it would sell for. It's not like it's wool. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, it's still a nice jacket regardless, so I'll figure it out. But Pendleton at the bins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this is vintage. It might not be. The tag seemed kind of old. Made in Honduras. I don't know. Oh, Buccaneers. Yeah. It's, it just feels like that older sweatshirt material. I don't know how to explain what I'm talking <laughs> about. But yeah, it's a cool one. Stitched. I like that. Very nice. Probably, hopefully 25 to 30 out of that. I wonder how they're doing this year. I feel like <laughs> football's weird this year. <laughs> I wish I had time to care. <laughs> I actually don't. <laughs> um, this is a brand I don't know of, but I just got it because I thought it was pretty. It's a two X, just like a kimono. Has flowers and I was gonna say birds, but there's no birds on here. <laughs> just flowers, pretty flowers. Cool. I hopefully can at least get twenty out of that. Yeah. Uh, this is Chico's. No. Black Market. Oh, uh, yeah. Black Label by Chico's. I thought it was White House Black Market. Black Label by Chico's. Black Label. So is that a, a higher no brand? <laughs> um, oh, that's cool. Long dress. Yeah. So Some pretty. Rose. All right. Um, this is a Woolridge women's skirt. It feels like the better sweater type material. Mm -hmm. So... I'm gonna wash that mainly just because it seems like it has a weird wrinkle right here. <laughs> Hopefully that like comes out, but otherwise the fabric's in good shape, so. Yeah, I don't know. 15 and 20, probably nothing crazy out of that. Um, this is Orvis. I think it's women's, I'm not sure. I think it's women's. Just like a cool Sherpa toggle fleece. It looks misbuttoned. <laughs> it is, <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, so I imagine I could probably get at least 30 out of that. I don't, I didn't look up comps. This is a men's Under Armour, just a basic athletic shirt, probably 10 to 15, but weighs next to nothing. I thought it was a pretty color. I didn't see any snags in it, so. Um, this is Lululemon, but it does have, I know, I know this has stains on it, but I was thinking of the the thing that we were talking about last time about Lululemon, just the getting credit for it. I don't yeah. know. I need to look more into that because this has a stain line in the middle, so I don't know if they mm. if they only take it if they can then resell it or if they take it just because they're right. Lululemon. So either way, this basically costs nothing. I figured it'd be a good experiment about it. So, um, but yeah, it has a stain right in the middle. It doesn't have a size tag anymore, so like, yeah, that's going to be my experiment piece for Lululemon. And I also got this too. <laughs> I'm going to do the Patagonia thing. You know, I wonder if we could do like one big massive video where we do them all and kind of cool, compare them yeah. with each other. <laughs> so I don't know. Dang. What that... I do not know what happened to this one, but 
if like someone someone fell in a puddle of bleach. I mean, yeah, they might have tried to purposely do it. Oh yeah. I mean, I would let our kid wear it like this. Yeah, like, I mean, it's not it, like that bad. It does, yeah. It doesn't have holes or anything. It's actually in decent shape. The the, the down still feels like it's in the right places. I wonder. If, do you you don't think that was on purpose? I don't. Patagonia think I, didn't I don't release think that. that on purpose. No. Okay. But I think somebody might have tried to do it on purpose. Yeah. So, Failed experiment on an expensive piece. Yeah, I mean, I, I could probably even sell it like this and get 20 to 30 bucks, but mm-hmm. I think I'm, I just really want to try out that Patagonia thing. And for yeah. jackets, I think they give more, even though this I is wonder a if size. you could dye it. I mean, I mean not you. No, <laughs> they, they, they like bleached it, but I wonder if you could just dye it like solid black or something and then yeah. kind of bring it back. Well, if they don't take it, we can try that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you. I don't know how down feathers handle being dyed, but this is just loft. It's like a cardigan where someone cut out the material, so I don't know what the material is, but just a basic blue blazer. I thought it was nice. I like the gold buttons. Size four. Probably can get twenty bucks out of that. Nice. Um, this I just thought was pretty. Don't know the brand. I think it's just like a one size fits all type of kimono. Thing. So, yeah, probably cool. at least twenty bucks out of that. And then these were new Attack Kids Under Armour, or once upon a child. Goodwill is trying to charge fifteen dollars for them. Mm. I mean, they do retail for forty-five. Um, you don't need Connor. <laughs> I know you don't think Connor needs anything. <laughs> I mean, do our is our kid ever gonna wear these kinds of things? It's, I don't know. Is that for athletic like sports? I, mean, I don't know. I feel like I just see people wear these and then put like athletic shorts over them, so it's almost like if you're going running or something uh, that you're just keeping your legs warm. I don't know. Our kids Either are way, not gonna do that. These are about Connor's size. <laughs> I'll probably just list them and probably get twenty five, maybe. See, when I was a kid, Under Armour was l- it was just like the compression shirt underneath and I mean, pants. These are basically compression pants. Yeah. Now it's a whole, they, they do everything. This one, we were younger, yeah. So those are cool. So that was all the clothes, I think. And this is mostly shoes and miscellaneous. Got this. I feel like octopus plushes do well. Yeah. Is this an octopus or like this? I would say that's an octopus, yeah. So, um, I don't know how big this is, but I saw someone sold like a 36 inch length one. I don't think this is 36 inches, but. Now I'm wondering over like thirty or forty bucks. Could it be a jellyfish? <laughs> yeah, so I'll need to I figure that out. But yeah, <laughs> I guess it I could mean, be both. Yeah, the brand is Hug Fun. So I looked up Hug Fun octopus, I think, and some showed up like this. But I'll check other words. Squid, not a squid, jellyfish. Right? Uh, a squid. I feel like the head has to be a little bit more yeah, longer. Yeah, elongated. So, but, I don't know. I, I gen- usually plushes that are large like this do pretty well. So yeah, fin splash probably at no less than twenty. I would say maybe like thirty. Out of that, this is a golf head club cover. <laughs> so it's funny. That is crazy. <laughs> uh, that's for that's a golf head cover. Yeah. It's so. not just a little tiny mask. Right. <laughs> uh, brand is Toys by Daphne. I did look this up and <laughs> it's just funny because it says Toys by Daphne and then on the tag it says not a toy. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, so I, I think I sold sold saw some pre owned comps around twenty. I thought it was funny. Like, it almost looks it. like a hand puppet when yeah, you're doing yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kids. <laughs> I don't know why, like, when I first saw it, I thought it was Chewbacca, but it's just Sasquatch. Or <laughs> That's because yeah. you've never seen I, a Star Wars movie. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that was cool. Uh, this I just got mainly because I love the game. We have the game already. Yeah. But this is new. I don't think it was going for a ton on eBay, 10 to 15, yeah. but I figured White Elephant Gift or, yeah. I mean, this is a good time of the year to list something like this, fourth mm-hmm. quarter, just any it's new attack still stuff. sealed, new. It is. You know, the edges are kind of beat up, so I think we'll probably just put this in a white elephant. It's a fun game. Yeah. All right. So I think, no, there's a hat here. Oh. Everything I'm showing you was, well, everything was $127.35, but minus $8 because we got our kids a scooter. That's not showing mm. you. The game they charge separately as books, and that was only sixty nine cents. So sixty nine cents. Yeah. So basically, minus the scooter, all of the stuff was one hundred nine dollars and one cent. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think just a couple, two or like three, 
three of the Chico's pieces, honestly, we'll probably get most of that money back. So Yeah. Uh, this hat I just thought was cool. I don't think it's going to sell for a ton. I just really liked the pattern and it was in good shape. I might be able to get 10 to 15 out of that. We got some fit flops. Those would fit probably flops. go for 25 to 30. Some Crocs that need to get thrown in the wash, but we'll probably get 15 to 20. Um, I don't know this brand. I just thought they were in good shape. Sayola, S-A-O-L-A. Hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like I saw some pre-owned comps around 30, although the sell-through was not great. Oh no, I thought they were just a nice classic looking shoe. Yeah. Um, these type of Salamons have done super well for me. Uh, these are dirty, but I still got them at the bins. Actually, this day before I went to the bins, I just stopped at one of my local thrifts. It's a very small one. I just look for shoes when I'm there. I didn't get a single pair because they had everything. I haven't been there in months. Like, at, like they had a pair of these for $40 on oh. the shelf, so. Anyways, yeah. Um, dirty, I'm not gonna clean them up. I'm just gonna list them as is. The yeah. thing about these is just like the crazy tread on the bottom. Yeah. So I feel like these are just for like trekking through snow. Yep. Almost, so anyways, um, I imagine like even dirty like this can probably get 40, maybe more out of those. I feel like there's a different color of these that does even better, like, I don't know. Hmm. Um, you know, I was, I saw a commercial. And they seem like they pronounce it Salamon. 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 Okay, I'm never gonna do that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are not hey dudes, but they're true craft. I, they look like a hey dude. I just thought they were cute. Plaid for fall. Really good shape, so probably 15 to 20 out of those. Found some Birkenstocks in actually pretty decent shape. Hold <laughs> Yes. He just tried like rolling on his back, you know how he shows his, be his yeah. belly up, and he like fell out of his bed, so he's all angry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, nice. some really good condition Birkenstocks. I mean, a little dirty on the footbeds, which is typical, but like the treads are still really good. Size 38, which I think, yeah, women's seven, so probably, honestly, at least 50, maybe a little wow. more of those. Very nice. Yeah, these are gonna go in the wash machine. Hopefully, they clean up a bit, but this model of nike flip-flop always just does super well for me so huh. i hope they clean up um i'm sure i can get at least 20 out of those some olakai's these are a very small size five yeah women's five but really pretty color good shape and they're olakai yeah. yeah so um i mean with them being a women's five maybe like 20 to 25 if these were like women's eight nine ten probably more like 40. yeah so. Um, Javionas, these are in good shape, much. <laughs> these are an easy $15 usually. Uh, these are Uggs, but like a girl size. I think there are three, yeah, three youth, little moccasin. Good shape, probably 25 to 30 out of those. Some Puma slides, I think these are men, no, women's 10. Women's 10 Pumas, a little dirty, but probably get at least 10 bucks out of those they weigh hardly anything got some men's under armor slides i will wash them but probably 15 or so out of those cool um, these are a, something about i mean they're blowfish but it says for earth by blowfish so i've never seen any of the ones i've sold say that before thought they were cute style little toe marks but treads are really good so probably okay. 15 to 20 out of those Got some Sanook, just a classic loafer, usually 20 or so out of those. Um, some Skechers, probably 20 to 25, just a basic slide on. Sweet. Uh, these I might keep for Sai. They, at Taekwondo, they just need easy shoes to throw yeah. on and off, so I will, these will clean up real nice in the washing machine, but perfect for that. Otherwise, I can probably sell these for 10 bucks or something. Um, these are Sam Edelman, like a nice, I mean, they're in really good shape. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a gladiator, but also just a little fancier. I don't know. Oh, good catch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to say I can probably get at least 30 out of those. Those are cool. Yeah. And lastly, if you watch my Instagram stories, you already saw, I found Rothy's at the bins. What? Jeez. Goodwill was only trying to ask 10 bucks and they didn't. Nobody bought these? For like, what? <laughs> they look they're, small? Are they? There is seven, so not okay. too small. 
I mean, they're not in amazing shape. Well, at least the insoles aren't, but I'm going to wash those. Jeez. I, I mean, I know about these aren't what they used to be, but I imagine these are at least 40 still, maybe up to like 50, 60. Right. We'll see. I didn't look up what this color was. You know, if still ones that are a special color that people want go for more. Yeah, the I discontinued don't ones. see this being anything too special. But yeah. Wow. I mean, rock these at the Vans and Birkenstocks. I mean, Birkenstock, just those two you got pretty much. Johnny was. Yeah, that was a good day. Some other. And it was only about three hours, so. You had a, that cool Patagonia. Yeah, I love all the plus size stuff. That stuff just sells so fast. Like, even if it sells for 20 bucks, I bet all this plus size stuff will sell in like a week. So. Yeah. Huge. So you said three hours? Three Man, hours. <laughs> this was a good haul. I'm going to go again tomorrow. You going tomorrow yeah. again? Excited to list this. Let stuff. us know what you guys think. Seems like you're going to have like a shoe day, yeah. a dress day. <laughs> I don't know. And You're then, gonna have to help me measure. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I don't like about dresses. Yeah, it's hard to like put it all the way out and like get the length. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll need some. We'll need four hands to do that. <laughs> so, that's gonna do it for today's haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.